Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's continue our series of Let's Talk About. Today we're going to cover, I guess you could say, kind of a computer forensics type investigation. Um, quite often, whenever you get an email or you get a web page, and even if you don't click on it, there is a way that they can still track you or see what you're doing. And I will try to help you understand the concept of it and how to prevent it in some cases. And the term I'm talking about is called uh, web um, web beacons or email beacons. And they're exactly what they sound like. They, they, they are beacons that notify whoever's looking at you that you've done something. Uh, let me pull over our friend here, Wikipedia. And uh, the definition they have is a web beacon also called web bug, traffic bug, tag, web tag, page tag, tracking pixel, uh, or pixel tag, and they're typically a one width by one height GIF, which means it's small and you probably don't even see it. And they also can put them inside of emails. So what you want to try to do is, if you have an email program, let me see if I can pull up one of mine here. What you want to try to do is you want to have your email set to where it actually hides or doesn't open the uh, the graphics. Now, by default, your Outlook program should not open the graphic. Within an email program, the the email beacons are typically GIFs, which are graphics, and if they're not open, they are not typically uh, loaded or started. And that's why here you can see that this is missing. Now, the one thing you want to realize about those is they can track if you've opened an email, deleted an email, forwarded an email, sent it to another account. And you have to remember, too, that in some cases, these can also be used in a court of law because if you use it for legal intent, it can be used. But people can also use it for non-legal uh, access, as everybody knows that. So here's an example I got from a company. Hi, Robert. We're proud to of our Office 365 blah 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 and if you notice here I don't have any I don't have any pictures open now what I did is I extracted the code from this email and I came up with this piece of code right here and I changed the name of the company so you're not to intrude on what they're doing uh, but this is typically uh, actually located towards either the bottom of the page or someplace where they may have a link that goes somewhere else so if you notice here, this is on the web page I'm at, you know, and then here's my here's my image source, and this is my image, and it, it will usually say track or tracking or something like that. But the, the the quickest way you can tell is if it's an image, come down here where it says that it's only one width by one height, and in this case, they're actually saying that they are not displaying it, and of course, it's going to be important to them, or it's going to say it's important if it is displayed so you're going to be you know wondering about it but what would happen here is if I delete this email forward it or anything like that they sh could be able to tell what I did so like I said in a court of law if you're up and, you, and you're testifying you say I never saw the email and if, and if they are running and if they are running a email beacon they can pull it up and say no you deleted it forwarded it or opened it so be very careful when you do these things. Um, and they, they can do the exact same thing on a web page. And remember, uh, uh, this is a really small little square. It's not that large. So it can be um, easily missed or it can, it can be also embedded. Also, another thing you want to do too is if you go to the bottom of a page and if it says click here for Twitter or, or LinkedIn or whatever, float your mouse over the link. And if you notice on the bottom, on the bottom left, typically it will go to a tracking site first, then go to where you want to go. That's like another way you can tell. Don't click on their links because then they can see how many people are liking them on Twitter at this site, how many people are liking them on Twitter on this site, how many people are liking them on Twitter on this site, or whatever the case may be. Uh, so just remember that you know I'm going to try to do more of these kind of series where I 
try to explain like different concepts of what um, is happening out there and how to prevent it and also different ways of doing it. Um, and just to let you know, typically uh, the NSA, DOD, whenever they send email, if it's confidential, they usually send it through plain text. That way they don't have to worry about the beacons, they don't have to worry about images, they don't have to worry about anything compromising the actual email itself. And if you do have an email program, make sure that it does not open the graphics before you do it. Um, the majority of corporate and school email systems, if you do it web-based, will open the graphics for you. Okay, they want to see what you see or what you do. So, you know, just keep that in mind. And uh, I will continue these little series of uh, hints, tips, helpful, whatever the case may be, uh, you know, to let you all be aware of what's happening out there in the world. So, uh, for this episode, I think I'm done. I was trying to remember if I had something else to say, but I can't right now because it's really early on a Saturday morning. So, I will let you all go, and um, uh, please be safe out there. Bye.